actually, you know, some people, all I remember basically is getting from one side to the other side. Uh, you know how those, those little four little hangers right there? That might have been like eight or 900 feet. Or I, like it might have been 800 feet across. Like, like I thought it was at least 400. I know it's at least 480. But I mean, it might have been like 800 feet across or something like that. I mean, it was a huge fucking ship. And it was really fucking heavy, even though it was paper thin or really thin. It was m made out of depleted uranium. All of it. The whole thing was made out of depleted uranium. That's why it was like, <clears throat> because that's why the LSF little spaceships <clears throat> were made out of the same stuff. So... Because the ship could actually re-enter if it wanted to. I mean, in order to deal with the heat. Anyway, though, I don't re really remember. It. I mean, that 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 thing was deceptive. It was like maybe even, I don't know, maybe even twelve hundred feet. I don't know. It was huge. It was really fucking huge. And it was a problem to actually get between one side and the other side because we were when we were trying to build the frame for it. We we're trying to build the frame, and to get from this side to that side with anything was a problem because it was just too far across. It was like. I don't know, 800, 900 feet. I mean, you see, there's pictures of it. It's just like, <clears throat> like it's a small skyscraper. I mean, it's a large skyscraper. It's huge. It was, it was like really massively tall. I mean, that's why they're like, they take the picture of the USF little rocket that the Kennedy fired. And it's like, that is not, it's not the same. It's not the same because the LSF spaceship was like a colony ship. And it was like, <clears throat> you're like massive. Massive. It was a massive ship. It's like it was like eight hundred feet across. It was it was the size of the Titanic or something. Actually, that might be it. It might have been the size of the Titanic, nine hundred feet across. I don't know. Basically, they, they 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 had all these pictures of like the Titanic compared to its size and this and that. I mean, it was like so fucking huge. Like I said, it took two hundred eighty years to build. At least, it was huge, huge. Never meant to land. That's why that's why I technically I got in a lot of trouble because I landed it because um, but I mean it was my ship so I could land it so anyway that's why it's a classic story of of what happened to the ALS uh, FA ship was basically it was because it was the biggest one of the biggest ships ever built like I yeah I think it might maybe it was twelve hundred feet across I don't know I thought it was at least I know I know it was four hundred uh, four hundred eighty and then um, and then we were thinking about, I wanted to make it bigger or something like that. And they weren't going to do it, but then they were like, eh, okay, we'll do it. So, anyway, because I wanted to get the SR, S, LSF uh, 71s inside. And that meant we needed a hangar. So, anyway, all kinds of stuff. You know, because I wanted to be able to launch and be able to land on, on planets and stuff like that. So, anyway, it, re it changed the whole scheme of, of basically how big the ship was and everything else like that. And it was supposed to be a colony ship, so basically people would live on it for generations. It was a generation ship, tried and true ge generation ship, biggest of its kind, and basically was fucking huge. I mean, fucking huge. Like I said, I mean, those little 280-foot 200, wings or whatever, or those little fins on it look small compared to the main superstructure. Anyway, it's legendary. You can look it up, and it's somewhere on a planet somewhere. JFK or Richard Nixon w was trying to say that it crashed and basically been obliterated and all that other stuff. It's like, no, no, no. You don't obliterate that much titanium. I mean, that much depleted uranium. It's out there somewhere. It's on a planet, basically, because there's this other planet, you know, and basically, you know, they wanted to keep it, and they would keep it safe, and pretty much they they know it, 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 it it's like Earth was its start or something like that, and then basically it wound up over there, and pretty much um, was basic is basically like I think that's that's what we did. We shared it. the The shuttlecraft came here with me, or was here, or or are here, and the main ship is somewhere else on another planet. But it's still intact. It's fine. Like it it like I said, it's legendary. It's it's regarded as basically one of the oldest and most ancient, like billions of year old spaceships that, that is basically like a living legend and uh, almost a religious icon for humanity and where it came from. Anyway. Just like me. Because I designed it, built it myself. And was the onboard computer for it. Anyway, and that's why it mattered because it matters a lot who actually built that ship. And Lockheed had nothing to do with it, and everyone just laughed, laughed Rick, Richard Nixon out, uh, out of, <laughs> out of existence basically. Because I mean, 
he was nowhere near old enough. He had nowhere near enough to do with anything. And even with, with, with 30 clones and generations of clones, um, he couldn't have built it or had anything to do with it. Like, it was far, far older than before he ever came along. Like, it's probably, it's older, it's probably older than even Earth or something like that. Anyway, I, uh, I don't know. Um, I think it might have been built, I don't know if it was built here, but it, it might have been built here. Anyway, though, it should still be here. They, they tried to say it was Kennedy Space Center, but I mean, it's like I said, it's here. Like, I don't think so. I mean, the, the launch pad for it was, ma was, was massive. I don't think it ever landed here. And most it probably just cruised by, so you know, and the and the and the ships landed or something like that. Because I mean, the the launch pad that, that you see on there, I mean, that's that launch pad is like nine hundred feet across, or thousand or twelve hundred feet across. It was massive, massive, massive ship, and that's its width across, and then the length is even longer. It's um, Probably 900 feet. I don't know. I mean, probably like like a couple thousand feet high or something like that. I mean, it was it was it was huge. It was massive. That's why it was so funny when I when I tried to land it. That's why everyone was laughing. Because <laughs> I because I actually landed it into into a mountainside. Well, he actually landed it onto the mountainside. <laughs> That's why it's one of those legendary Starfleet drinking. Um, stories where I landed it onto the mountainside <laughs> because it was almost as tall as the mountain but the mountain took it <laughs> and they actually laughed about how like it moved the mountain or something like that but it didn't it, didn't. it just crushed and stuff um, I had most of them for when I'm canceled and, and it was just like a good solid impact you know it just uh, wasn't meant to ever take you know that it had a lot of force basically so Anyway, yeah, and that's why my story, you know, and, and that's why he wanted to kill me before I told anyone or at least made it public because uh, it contradicts Richard Nixon's stories a lot. And basically he's just basically a liar and trying to do an alternate reality um, thing or something. Or he was creator or something. And like I said, John McCain, Richard Nick and, and all of them, they knew that, that what they were doing was just a scam. They had just come across the the LSF flyers inside the hangar in, in Germany and France. Literally just found them. They had nothing to do with it. And they, and they had actually also been responsible for cutting up one of them and turning it into body armor so they could be invincible warriors. Which meant that they also basically cut up probably almost half a billion year old also regarded as religious Ike artifacts to basically wear them wear it as a body armor suit which basically is like sacrilege and some people would probably have killed him killed them for actually even touching such an old spaceship not to mention taking a grinder to it like I said they they they, they shot a couple of the people that that saw them grinding on on the ship and they were like Whoa, and, and one of them was like <laughs> and just shot him because he knew what that ship was he knew that it was like 500, 1200, or maybe even a million years old. And was regarded as <gasps> the sacred artifact. Well, I mean, it is basically... I mean, other planets know of, the, of those spaceships. Of those, of those LSF spaceships. Because they went to them. You know, the, the Mars knows of those LSF spaceships. Other planets know of those LSF spaceships. 30, 30 of them at least. So, when when some kid, twenty year old kid, was just grinding, going, "Hey, I'm gonna make some body armor of this stuff. It's pretty hard," you know, the the people you know that were there were like, <gasps> "Oh my god!" You know, it's like, yeah, you know, I mean, you you get the idea of why it was like why they freaked out so much, because that's the creators. That's came from the colony ship from the creator, and is known on 200 or 140 other planets as having been the colony ships that landed on them. Anyway, it's like yeah, whatever. <laughs>